What is going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday from a certain point of view. It is the crew plus one today as we have Miss Abby Friel joining us for the reaction today. <laughs> um, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to POV. Excited to have all you with, all of you with us for a very exciting match today. Uh, Jessica Schloth versus Beth May, two very uh, exciting new young rookies who have been added to the showdown this year. Uh, ready, ready to get into this reaction. But first, how's everybody doing, Brian? Um, how how has your week been, man? It's Wednesday, Hump Day. How's everything going? Good. We are, like you said, on Hump Day. Although this weather's on its own mind right now. Is outside. it gloomy up there? It's not gloomy, but it's, it's windy. Gloomy. But then it also like just looks like it wants to start raining at some point. So really, it's like perfect seventy-seven degrees where I am. Well, it got it got like that shady dark for a second here. It's cool. So, Interesting. And it's supposed to rain on Sunday, so I don't know what's going on. I got to put my California. roof down. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Jill, what about you? You're on a Wednesday. I'm on a Wednesday. Hello. I am on on a Wednesday. My family is on vacation, so I was able to actually come on tonight, and I'm so excited. Hello. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. So, yes, I uh, got some... No news. No good. No, nothing special happened to me today. Mm -mm. Nope. I really let's, wish. Let's get a round of applause real quick for Miss Jill Mancelino. Congratulations, Jill. New job. New job. <gasps> Thank you. She, she is now a motocross chick. I'm a motocross chick. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to ride motorcycles. What so. the hell happened with you? My helmet's around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, oh. I thought, I, I thought so what's funny is I've spider never. Spider dropped on you? or No, my I, helmet's here somewhere. I don't know. I think I've been on a motorcycle once in my end lifetime. They're the yeah. best. <laughs> I've four wheeled been a on lot. one once. They're I've so four wheeled a lot when I was younger. So I have that going for me. But thank you. Cheers to actually having an a, actual adult job. Yay. Woo <laughs> uh, Molly, how are you doing? It's Wednesday. Everything good? I'm good. Uh, I'm fully recovered, I think, from my second Moderna shot, which Woo! kicked my butt. Um, but. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. I had a fever and my whole body felt like one giant bruise. But then I woke up and I felt fine. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Like you it's feel like so complete weird. trash and then you wake up and you're like, I am totally a okay. Like what was yeah, that? that? My arm isn't Starbucks even really sore. Yeah, here. like my arm, or my, I think my, heart, my arm hurt for less time my second shot than mm -hmm. my first. Alex got his today uh, and He's currently feeling fine, but he's still kind of in that waiting period of like, yeah, what's well, gonna happen? When's Hello it gonna tomorrow happen? Morning. Yeah, if he's fine tomorrow morning, then he's in the clear. I think. Yeah, we are both fully vaccinated. Ooh, yes, we're team. We're making vaxxed. we're making plans left and right. We're gonna start traveling and in, in the near future. Very excited. Come to Disney World with me, Molly. Come to Disney World. <laughs> Celebrate birthdays. Celebrating birthdays, birthdays, having a birthday party. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, also, I do want to say, and of course, Miss Abby Frills with us, but this is the first time that we've had actually a guest reactor with us. Wow, a first. Yeah, welcome. welcome. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm excited to watch this one. Me too. Yeah, I, also, I, I like your sweatshirt, Abby. Good uh, thank you. I don't have um I don't have any den merch, unfortunately. That's fine. Or the best merch. merch. So it's okay. Yeah. Okay, you chose corruption. Jill, don't you have den merch? Mm -hmm. I don't. I only have corruption merch. I have cor I have corruption, I have season seven, and I have a Kevin Smith shirt. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um all right. Well, we're here to do uh, a record. Ask Abby how her day is. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she was doing. No, -uh, you you start talking. Abby, how's your day? Yeah, I'm doing great, Brian. Thank you. I went to her. She didn't say anything. I mean, everybody's coming after me. Now you went for something else. Uh, it's okay. It's like, I inter I interrupted because I needed to comment on her. Yeah, it's all Jill's fault. It's, it's my fault. That's okay. Just a lightning rod of hate. Corruption, girls. We have to stick together. <laughs> there you go. That's um, so, yes, we're here for a very exciting uh, rookie matchup today. We have uh, Jessica, the sleeper, uh, Sloth, up against Beth, uh, the maniac, uh, May. Super, super exciting. Den and Corky Mercs. Obviously, we've talked to them both. We've had them both on the channel before. Um, and they were both two names that popped up a lot leading up to the draft. And Kate took a chance on Jessica and... 
uh, Koi with Beth, and we're going to see what they're all about today. So before we get going, let's just go around, because we haven't given our predictions yet. Nobody knows who we're picking. We usually did on Sunday. Didn't do it this week. Um, I'll go back around the table, and I'm actually going to start with Abby this time. Uh, Abby, who are you picking? And uh, uh, who, 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 who you like it in this one? Um, so this isn't like a secret. Uh, both <laughs> Jess and I have talked about it before, but I, ac- I actually recommended Jess audition and told her to, and then she got drafted. So that is my pick for this match. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Molly? Hmm. I, I'm very drawn to the maniac nickname. That's that's a good one. I love so, the way it's spelled too, like her last. Yeah, name. yeah. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with Beth May on this one. I re- I remember her when we were talking to all the rookies or the, the the new picks, and she was really cool. But I mean, like they're they were both really cool. So I'm just excited to see them play each other. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, Jill. Uh, this one's really tough for me because I think this is one of the both of the rookies that I was most looking forward to seeing. Uh, so it's really close for me. I think I'm going to give the slight edge to Jessica because she's on the den. And I still kind of do hold that close place to my heart for my den babies. So because of that, I'm a slight edge to Jessica, but I'm very excited for Beth May. I'm, I'm so excited for both of them. It's going to be a fun one, I think. Um, Brian, are you going against your uh, fantasy team today? No, I picked her for a reason. I'm going with <laughs> Jess in this one. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I know someone asked in the chat. I think Stardew did. It's a Dwayne versus Brian week. Um, oh, is it really? It's it's today Almost. and Friday. Um, are they play each other twice this week? But yeah, I'm gonna. Um, this is a tough decision. This is a really tough decision. It's it felt like through the out like the entire. Um, Build up to the draft. Beth May had the kind of upper hand. She was uh, on a lot of shows. A lot of people were reaching out to her. Uh, but I think that Jessica's name might be might be for real. The sleeper. She might be a sleeper pick for a lot of people. Um, it's a really and it's a really cool name. We got to talk to her. She's very quiet. Yeah, obviously, she has a little shy side to her, and I think it lives up to her very nicely. And uh, I'm excited to see what they're all about. Um, I would not be surprised if Beth comes out swinging. Obviously, the Mercs really need it. Um, but I'm, really? I'm going to go with Jessica on this one. I'm going to give her a slight edge on this one. Um, all right, Brian, I'm going to go and pop it on and it's all you. I think we have, uh, I think we have something to start the show too. We do. Oh, what we got, what we got. <gasps> it's Mr. Andrew Guy. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, hey, I'm here, this man. Is a new one? Later. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. <laughs> The sunlight touched the lake, like you said, man. I oh, said Jesus. later, not too late, which is what you want. But I, <laughs> yeah, you're too late. When I tell you to be somewhere, you be there. Understood? You, won't yeah. happen again. <laughs> Lesson number one. Colonel Carrots. <laughs> yeah, you have to obey Colonel Carrots. <laughs> no, you should have already been sitting down. Lesson learned. There's no sit. <laughs> <Bam up. laughs> Don't think about touching that chair. <laughs> Don't think about touching that microphone. <laughs> You're gonna come in here and just and stand up, hosting a schmuck. <laughs> no. You can't help but you not start laugh. out sitting down. You start out doing everything I say, and you manage to screw those up. Don't sit down yet. Look, I'll be honest with you, man. I really don't think you have what it takes. I've got some cores in the car. Oh, you've been drinking. <laughs> you want to drink beers with me? We drink beer in this house for three occasions only. When the Washington football team wins, when the Washington football team loses, or when the Washington football team is about to play a football game. <laughs> <laughs> the answer's no. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Pick it up some other time. Later, if ever. Later. I'm kind of scared of Mark. I know. I know. I'm not used to him being so strict. Andrew. He's yeah, usually the out. dad in the mom and dad relationship <laughs> of Christian and him. Dear Miss President. Uh, dear dear future Mrs. Napsock. Soon to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, Congrats. Hold on. I might have just found something blasphemous in the Mark Ellis house. Not is that a cool? Is that a truly? That's a truly. That's a bad. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Dane, you are like an Easter egg oh. hunter. <laughs> Mr. How, how dare he not a Coors stray from Coors? <laughs> Maybe he All drinks right. those when the Washington <laughs> team isn't playing. The Washington, Washington team. team. <laughs> I forgot what they were already. <laughs> Jake, can we please do what I sent you now? <laughs> you want to do it right now or you want to say it for No, later? not right now, <laughs> but we need to do it. Kate and Coy care about their faction what? and its competitors. But you're also gonna see wait, we, have a, we, we have a game we would like to play with you guys that we found last night We're about to uh, right now. that is that would that would yeah for the I also call it, it, it would be very interesting to see what happens Come on. is it about was it one of those is it one of those that's like is it from star wars or is it indian food no no, no. is it from star wars or is it indian food Come on. You she never heard that? Heart with no. her insane videos, and I feel like the quirky part of the yes. She really was yes, the first rookie to get popular. This yeah. Season. yeah. Best so day. I'm really excited to have you at the merch. This is gonna get weird. This is gonna get weird. Oh my god. Oh, so oh dang. Um, I have those weights. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm just here training for my match against Jess Sloan. It's me, Beth May of the Quirky Mercs. Hi. It's me, Beth. <laughs> she sounds like she's in an infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Oh, these gentle moments before a match where you know your rookie's gonna come out on top of the other rookie. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Jessica Schmoes. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> cool. so Every time we're presenting the den, led by our fearless leader, Kate Mulligan. Mama you know, Kate Mulligan. I've been a fan of Schmodown for several years now. Were you well, the I'm... Florida State sign girl at the yes, Orlando? The <laughs> There's a history in the Schmodown of people who started out as fans who just went to live events and then became Schmodown competitors. I am ready to did, did it show Sean Sullivan in that still little video Sean. clip. Okay, yeah, I see how it is. Words. Oh my God. Uh, Jessica, I wish you the best, but you better watch out because I'm going to... No, just kidding. I'm, I'm not a violent person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really... I'm just... <laughs> I just want to be oh, oh, yeah. yeah. oh my God. The queen of the promo game. All of Beth's promos <laughs> are so good. Dad, no real tiny way. beans. So I'm not alive. Dad, I'm the mascot for the quirky marks. <laughs> a real uh, titan. Hey, he'll be signing to our lives here. And it's like a total inception going on. Right? Yeah, the, the uh, Patreon <laughs> ad. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> will bring a, a, an immense amount of passion to whatever she does, and certainly here in the movie trivia show. Now, Becky April, I know that you are Becky April. to some higher <laughs> Wrong here. month. So let me tell you something. You go up against Jeff Slow. Frankie can't save you now. So your working memory declines as you age. And so <laughs> you being a young person, Ouch. I hope you do well. I'm not well enough to beat me. I think she's probably the youngest I female player win, that we have. But I do wish How old is she? Beth is I think she's like 22. Oh my god. Something like that. She has a promos. Like, oh, Nobody's seen that. Dad. <laughs> Ooh, we're doing, we're doing flips. We're doing oh, something. Oh, missed. missed. Uh -oh. It's okay. It's okay. No one saw. There you go. <laughs> this is to, literally me. To be 22 again. My God. That's like back when my back didn't hurt every day for no reason. Oh, she's 23. Godfather. Excuse me. Oh, well. Quirky Mercs, you guys. She corrected it in the chat. <laughs> The den has just been working really hard and we're hungry. All this match is gonna come down to is who wants it more? And the answer is me. Yeah. So all I have to say, Beth May is may the best for keeping. Am I ready to compete? I love how chill she is. Yeah. Am I ready to be a quirky? They mark? both seem pretty chill. Probably. They do. Am I ready to have fun? You bet. 100% guaranteed. I have a headband that's not quite that See bright, but it's very similar. Oh what was that? Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that whole <little> fucking <laughs> dash. <laughs>
Bravo. Wow, she went uh, all in on that promo. Both of them did so good. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I all am quite right. impressed too. That was a lot oh, of fun. Wow. Glad that clown college line was almost cut off by the promo. Do you so thank skip, you there. Like, Eric Christian Mark, and Mark talking. I'm hyped up. Uh -huh. I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. I'm thank excited you. watching the Thank you for watching our showdown reactions. Are you ready to go? Watch <laughs> 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 the show. Clown college, I, but yes, let's go. Y'all always stream late. Really it's eight o'clock here. It's time for it's 9 30 where Molly's as if Molly's not in Eastern time. Intro. Yeah, it's nine first. Almost nine thirty here. Representing the den making her schmoda. <laughs> I like how you're letting Brian get you. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Jessica. Yeah, uh, he can have a sleeper. <laughs> Hello. It's Hello. nice to see you there, Jessica. Ooh, I like her background. I said, you have oh, my God. Anybody else here? Lady this Bird is why she's on my team. Look, I, I Lady Bird. Know, how did you discover this? I'm going to be honest, everyone. What, I honestly don't know this, who's on my this team. This is for me. From fantasy, um, so. I kind of just discovered it on accident. Like I completely have forgotten everyone. Video, and so I just kind of I, when I get the updates, I'm like, I guess those people did and good. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that pretty much puts you with the 90th percentile of how people find us totally by accident. But now you're here, Jess, and now you're about to start fielding questions in the movie trivia showdown. Where's the Thermometer, what's the temperature at? How are your nerves feeling as you're about to enter your first match? I mean, it is kind of surreal because I feel like a little over a year ago, I was in the crowd in Atlanta watching Dan and Ben compete, and now oh, I'm she here was in Atlanta. Actually, match, so it's I probably saw her crazy. there. I had so I'm much fun. Nervous, but <clears throat> for Atlanta, I did so much fun. It was a uh, good event. For you, just for <laughs> I you know it was. Opponent here. Speaking no. of your opponent, Beth May has made um, a an impact on the. Me and Alex and Roxy with, took. Um, we're you taking know, tequila shots out, right as Alex's there. parents have walked into the room. But she doesn't have a lot of game tape as far as trivia. <laughs> out. So, and I know it's being someone who's been watching this game, you know how the game works. You see, you've done the and research. Whose idea was it? Is it strange going know, up against someone does. that you have Somewhere no game between tape me and Roxy. Or, what do you know yeah, about that's that? That's fair. Anyways. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess the same could go for me and um, for her. But yeah, uh, the den, like we work really hard. So everyone was trying to, you know, find what we could answer Ooh. wise um, totally are yeah it is Brian, oh, that's, right. that's your next photoshop yeah that's right, a good there you go. Go. Yes, yes, so just photoshop. put you here as we await <laughs> Beth May. and her opponent this music gets me every time the quirky <laughs> it's so soft it's just so bad her schmodown debut she is Beth, the maniac May. Hello. It's nice to Air see you. Please, I've been <laughs> mentioning you have been making your presence like known posture. throughout the show now. Oh, Molly. Well, How did I not Mark. notice that been before? Being with the Marks. It's been fabulous. I it's picked quirky, the right the person. Part. Um, actually, for all the parts, and I've been making myself known in the world at large for the 29 years I've been on Earth. It's been great. I'm happy to be Yay here. Yay to Team 29. Okay, and now you find yourself in the same position as Jess. You, you are a rookie who's about to answer to over your 30s, first right, questions Molly? in the mode. Yeah. Are you nervous? About to be 34, super are you fun. trying to be like hey, turn 30 great this sports year. movie character <laughs> Airbud and just handle the pressure and ultimately I know, I watch your victory. Lego and you go, uh, I'll be young forever. No wrinkles ever. We've really been strategizing, nope. uh, focusing staying out of the sun for the rest of my life. <laughs> so first one is uh, have fun, of course. Uh, second rule I've been really uh, uh, cracking down on is uh, to have fun. Uh, and then finally, <laughs> the third one is also have fun. And uh, I <laughs> think I'm ready to, to have Solid. fun. 
All right. Like a, <laughs> that's exactly right. I, you and I got to bring the uh, I love when she looks at I guess the that's camera. on us, too. Oh, my God. I love hey, it. Hey, gang. Mark Ellis from your favorite Her movie trivia. Best Mo man video program, true, And I'm here to tell you about Shudder. It's my favorite movie. That would be a great match. It's the only Someone movie. earlier said she, they, she reminded them of Perry. The she get, definitely gives me oh, Perry. Oh, that was Perry. They have the same smile. In round number one, the field of competition. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. To all 60 plus of you. Showdown know-how. You know how it works. Here we answer question no for question, whiteboard in the first round, no stealing. and then the second or third round, it's complete shout out, one. see who can get it first. Question. You have about 15 uh, gonna be a shit right down. I mean, uh, uh, all of us went with yes, once we uh, ask you my name or nickname, show what you wrote the your camera, same time you verbalize your answer, into the microphone. We do not grade hard on penmanship or spelling. No surprise, this is just a Disney exhibition match, right? 50 like, you each have three usages. You wish. Yes. That'd be amazing. Well, is, guys, Hi, I would, just, Jader. I would just drop that. Imagine out. if they did that, that to somebody. Right? Just be like, surprise, these are all questions from correct answer. Use men in black. <laughs> you have to use <laughs> one black. Hey, happy, happy, birthday, happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday. Birthday. Answer the wording. Use a challenge. I mean, we'll Jill, that's kind of like how season one was when it was like a whole point break category. If said challenge That's fair. is taking That's place, I, Christian, I, I think totally I killed I think the Superman slice everybody. the other day on the FCL. So the if we you get a I Superman, former, a full I'm Superman out. game, I, All right. I'd be down so with that. We will ask Beth. Are you ready? Uh, Selvin, ready? I will not be Beth, playing because I am I'm actually ready? on the writing team yeah, and I did write a few of these questions. You can just keep tally if you knew it. Yeah. Who stars as a dog owner named John Thornton? I know the in questions the that were asked, but I don't know how they adventure go. Adventure film, The Call of the Wild. You said a uh, dog owner or dog stepfather? Hey. I'm starting to get jealous of the, really everyone's whiteboards, and I might no, need to start buying no. stickers. That's right. I have a bunch you of, have a bunch of stickers. Three. Three. Right. I gotta make a living. Yeah. Of course. It's no, a CGI no. dog. It's Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford? Yes, <gasps> and Jess. Harrison Ford. I did wow, not see it. I was last time we all went second question. We went one I actually one. did. You wear the earring while he was in the Iditarod. It was one of my last Your next experiences. Is in the world of fantasy, I'm sorry. science or, fiction, I'm sorry. and <laughs> the here before it is time. point. The CGI Which actor man dog. appears in the sci-fi films Aliens, Predator 2, mm -hmm. The Terminator, and Edge of Tomorrow? I don't know. This is something that I would consider a five-pointer for myself. Ranking those movies. Uh, same. Same. <laughs> I'm writing a name. You love Terminator. I know that. You do. First one, five. I don't second one, two, four. I don't know Three. how to spell this, but two. it's probably wrong anyways. One. I put and Sarah Connor. I put Jessica. Sigourney Weaver. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Dang it. Yes. R.I.P. Bill Paxton. R.I.P. Oh, man. I'm so sad. I love Bill Paxton. Here. And we get to question number three. Bill Paxton. Movie quotes. In which 90s film does Tom Cruise say the know, line, like, oh, hate me. oh my God. <sighs> you hate Tom Cruise? I think uh, these two rookies need any help, Christian. You know, it's always interesting. Once you get really that old. first answer under um, your belt, you just, you tend oh, to Oh, what is that movie called? Everybody needs to watch. Everybody needs to watch it. so far for both Ever. me and Flo. Oh my God. And five, four. I don't know three. how to spell this either. It's uh, not the one with the one. socks, is Hands it? Down, Beth. Jerry Maguire. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> <laughs> and... I was going to say, show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah, that's uh, that's the one that everyone quotes. But was like, I knew it was ways, Who cares? Your next ah. question is in the world of romance or roms. For a point, Not even rom com. Which Game of Thrones actress stars as a young woman who falls for a paralyzed man in the 2016 film Me Before You? Um, oh, Christian conducts his life in reference to me. Um, so then you, Jessica just said Back. that her sticker says, Five. "You better hold on tight, Spider Man." Four. Four. Oh. <laughs> yes, first one. Twilight. All oh, right. here it is. Another reason to stand. Romance. Which Game of Thrones actress stars as a young woman right who me? falls for a paralyzed Beth. man? Beth did, yeah. in the 2016 film, Me Before You. I think it was Jess. I learned a fact today, oh, Mr. The King. Thank you. I have an eight pound <laughs> nugget. I have a large head, so I'm going to go oh, round up to probably 10. You did, and I can tell you. I think Kilo's head weighs four, at least eight pounds. Three, two, one. She Ten just joined the Marvelous Cinematic Universe. Amelia Clark. 
Look at us. And it was Khaleesi, but I couldn't remember her name. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, oh no. Just Did give her a point. Dragon from Game of Thrones? The dragon. <laughs> oh, dragon. Clark. I Clark. totally Clark. brain farted on her name, too, either. so I don't blame you. So either one of those. I like the answer um, of the dragon, Here though. is the, the next question. Oh, it's here. another quote oh, from Jerry Maguire. This is See, this five. is why I'm not in the schmodown, Mr. 80s King. 80s films. I don't know things. William Zabka plays Johnny oh, Lawrence really? in which 1980 really? film? I love you. Really? Really? I'm going to challenge you, Christian. I don't think I saw me before. I yet. will say, if I watched this, if I was actually uh, I think you might be right. I was thinking this. I'm going to make a guess just on you guys' reaction. That's what, That's, That's what I did. That's what I did, Molly. Three. And I'm two. curious. Oh, son of a guy. You know this. <laughs> I the karate kid. Karate kid. Karate kid. Karate kid. That. I looked too far into it. It is not. And what you write? I'm not writing yes. or telling you anything. Kid is, and I can't you believe I guess so that just started. Right. Right. I know. I know. I know. If I was a teenager in the eighties, I would six. definitely have a crush. That's right. This on might William be a Zappa. little more modern of a question, and it's in the category of comedies. That's your oh, name. Name. But the guy who played Fair John Bender in question. a breakfast. What club. wrestler? Plays the sports-minded dad Mitchell Manns oh. in the 2018 comedy Blockers. So it's hilarious. Oh my god, what's I his did name? See this one with you. We had a good. Time. I actually quite enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Five, four. I'm drawing a blank, three, so I'm just picking a two, one. Hands oh. down, please. Is it Cena? Yeah. And we start with Jess. It's usually oh, when there's a wrestler question. Yes. And Beth. He's, He's in a ton of movies. It's Cena or The Rock. So Jess going up here or, now. Or Dave Bautista. Five three, I believe. Or, or, or you're right. Five, mm -hmm. five, five, that was my. That's right, what I was deciding between. This is Next really question. random, but I went to Chicago Hard Comic Con road. like a few Hard years ago, road. and I saw Dave Which Bautista in person, and he has a really nice butt. I just felt like that needed to be said. Morrow in the 2016 thriller Nocturnal. One of the best butts I've ever seen in my life. Wow. So, right, now I want to know your top ten butts, but I know, uh, I mean, <laughs> we'll have to do a happy hour for that one. It was yeah, that's <laughs> when I'm on happy hour. <laughs> it's the Abigail Friel, Friel happy hour today. Is a I mean, you've got to pick Chris yeah. Evans. He's America's. Yeah, butt, America's right? ass. And he is America's down, butt. Please, and we start. <laughs> I have no idea. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Hmm. I, yes. I, yes. No. Yeah. This. Amy Adams. You will. Okay. You will either so now meet the movie from the very six, beginning, four, or six, four, you will be totally six, four, enthralled with what you'll be watching. Our next. Opening. What bloggers? What we got? Nocturnal in the category of the 1990s. I was born in the, the movies that were made in the 90s. And Same. Here's the question. I was for not. Who stars <laughs> in the 1990s action thriller Cliffhanger? Oh my God! Gordon this Mount movie rescuer, scarred me as a child and still lost their hundred million dollars. Gives me oh, the oh I mean, like Jess's face right now. Like that would be me. Just like even if I guess she knows it because she's writing it oh, down. But like her initial like five, what? four. Let's just sit in it. Three. <laughs> I'm not gonna two, pull it. one. Pens down, please. Pens oh, down, wow. please. Oops, I and got that wrong. <laughs> we start oh, no. with Jess. Um, Kurt Russell. Incorrect. And Beth. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. <laughs> they both had really good guesses. They did the movies with this gentleman. Those are good guesses for that time era. Um, I was going to guess Schwarzenegger. All right. So at the that end of round number and, one, we find um, ourselves with a score of 6-4. 6-4. Six, four, <sighs> six, four. So what is the other rock time movie? The Maniac as Ruined. We round 27 two. hours? Two. Mark no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's a 90s. In round number two, it's the wheel round. The wheel of fate, doom, and justice. No physical wheel will be provided. Because for better or for worse, we vertical don't limit. Live, so it's a that was it. Wheel. You're gonna that, those movies spin it. ruined me Once you set as a, a child. Category, you're gonna hear How's everybody doing? Rachel, do I really have four? Well, I have two on my board. Right you know? I have four. four. Two right. Yes, Leo. Vertical <laughs> limit. That <laughs> movie Steely. ruined me. Yeah, I like that. Abby, any question? So if you're not yeah. answer, you can ask us multiple choice. I have two on my board. But We're told is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question four. goes down. Leo, the oh, opening of Vertical you Limit your ruined me. Rules ruined me. Have you ever Jill, seen that, Jake? One, you have your Jill, you're winning this match no matter what because you, you got a new job. That's fair. Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers. Jill, Jill, Jill gets like three Jessica, zeros. Wait, you want to spin first? Wait, have I, I seen a movie that none of you have seen? Have any of you seen Vertical Limit? I've watched many people. 
That's that never really happened. Specific. Rachel says I have four. So I'm so Brian really has seen a movie that none of us have seen. Talk to Beth starting now. Hi. This is like hey, a glitch in the matrix. Like? I know uh, what's going on. If, if we are talking today, about movies exactly that trauma to that has be, children, uh, mine is Pee Wee's Big Adventure, specifically the large Marge scene. Oh, I love that movie. I do see, I do too. I love that movie. But the large Marge scene, I had to skip it because it was terrifying. I just like going. Two movies. And I'm ready to go. Two movies that absolutely ruined me: Vertical Limit and Leprechaun. Oh, how old were you when you saw Leprechaun? Probably. Probably like seven, six. See, I yeah. saw it. That's too young to see Leprechaun. I was yeah, you know what? The Exorcist. This is how you know I'm a fat kid. My friend dared me to watch it for now and later's, and I watched it for now and later's, now and, later's and it are, ruined me. Now and later's are hype though. Because they knew it was Felicity slash the person that rides dragons. Just oh, the correct oh, oh, oh. That is bon Oh, oh yeah. Correct, you know, I hope that she makes a great choice. Yeah, just, <laughs> I hope correct, she makes you a have great choice. I mean, this is interesting because I don't know that she knows anything about her. So that's the thing with what you want to give her here. I actually kind of, of like that. this wheel. It's funny, we also talked about this scenario. Emily Blunt <laughs> War is an interesting I about, place. I, about, I would do War. War is a good choice. When, when Robert, ooh, Robert Rodriguez is on oh, there. Oh, you know what? Ooh, Lucasfilm. Movie release dates? Ooh, yeah. Um, Streamworks. We had talked about young adult. I would do Sean Connery. Super broad. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Uh, Sean Connery or maybe two thousands. Like I would do. Or, I feel like two thousands would be. Though. Like Kate, for Kate her is age would be an easier one. Oh yeah, you're right. Kate is pushing. Kate one. is pushing movie release dates right now. Yeah. yeah, very good. Good, right. good managing, oh. Kate. All right, movie release. Oh, dates. she seemed Kate very is. happy about you're that. You're gonna get four questions in the realm of movie release dates. Beth, are you ready? I hope so. Let's go. <laughs> Unless you, you ask me when like Beauty and the Beast or Toy Story came out, what I'm not year gonna know. Saw the release dates. of Kill Bill. Oh three. Volume 2001. Four. 2004. Two, oh, I guess. I guessed. I guess too. Brian, that was the first one. I guess I did, wouldn't have even known. Wasn't the first it ones. like fall and then the following spring? Five. Yeah, they were like almost back to back. Hey, Ooh. it was a great time. Was I was incorrect. four. Oh, she guessed so, mine. Jess, we'll give you a question again. <gasps> multiple choice, Beth. Multiple choice. Which although the release multiple of choice of on movie release dates is tough. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's just going to be a number. It's it's, it's such a crapshoot. That is correct. For oh, oh too. okay. Pop right, here is the second. Oh, dang. Story. The Adam Sandler comedy Big Daddy. Oh, my <laughs> God. 1999. I'll say 98. Wait, wait, so we had four, eight, nine. I'll say 1998. $99. $96? Oh, I heard, I heard it correct in one of your Rachel, guesses. I won't get that one. I'm Jake pretty is. sure it's 99 because I was just hey, looking up. Oh, I'm wrong. Movie release. Sure. All the movies that came out in 99? I'm going to say 97. I need those two points. Crap! This was a good choice for Kate to choose. That was a good job managing Kate. That was a great choice. Already two questions in. I'm gonna say 1999. Correct for one more. Oh, wow. yes. okay. Molly, so really? Yeah. Billy Madison was 99. I thought she's on oh, my tweet last night. It was Big Daddy. Oh, the Exorcist. Was 26 1984. 1972. 73. Some wild years. 73. 78. 72. 1971. Is she hasn't gotten a multiple. Uh, I guess it's dust for She went multiple oh. choice last year. Do you guys oh. have like visual memory? Because I like imagine like the Wikipedia page with the parenthesis. No. I gotcha. Uh, I don't. I, don't I mean, know. unless it's Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know. It. For 1973. Oh, oh my one. All right. So wait, was that Molly's guess? Final question. Yeah, that's what I guessed. Oh, Molly. <laughs> I'm so I'm 73. Wow. I was way off. Oh, 11 years. What year saw the release? Oh, of oh, shutter. Five. Island. Oh, four. Oh, Two, th 2010. Oh, six. 
2010. I'm I worried. love how when y'all guess, it's so different. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> wrong, is what she's <laughs> saying. No, it's just like you're not. Oh, okay. Your guesses there are you similar. Get. 2010. 2010. Yeah, oh, you knew for a fact. That's, that's, that's an Abby way of saying y'all are bad at movies. Because, no, no, I'm not. I want all of y'all to play. It's because I mean, like Molly one, already oh does. It's, it's once one person shouts something, we're all like, oh, okay, we'll do what the ballpark. Yeah, we'll, we'll play by uh, um, with Price is Right now, rules that go a, like one higher. Yeah, I would do but FCL for, for fun. Like, don't expect me to like be an awesome player, but, but I would do FCL. I don't know if you would have had to go to multiple. Oh, you're in Shmoda. Yeah, she wants a singles FCL belt. I would go into singles FCL. Would you ever do inner geekdom Shmodown? So just stay in the uh, yeah. and focus and get confident. Because I'm helping Alex study for just it. And <laughs> by next year, I will know as much okay, inner geekdom as he knows. Okay. <laughs> and here's, here's the yeah, in, Including Lord of the Rings. I feel like I feel like an animation slice for Alex, right? Oh, um, yeah. 2000. We say it's one time. And you know, if I'm get, like, I'm a year younger than her. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no way. way. Double oh, opponents? Well, yeah. we did oh, recently oh, have double spinner's choice. Exactly. So, wow. It's only right that the wheel. So what's the? I would do war. Do it's got to be. It's got to be war, right? Uh, or Sean Connery because. Sean Connery. I would love for you to pick so, uh, young adult so novel really adaptation. Like well, <laughs> for someone her age, Sean Connery is mostly older movies. But I mean, she might love Sean Connery, so I don't know. I mean, Paul friends. Oyama's <laughs> strength is classic. I think of war as being like, what is it good so, for? Like, you can Absolutely not. People. It's the name of the season. So I feel like war is a negative to us, especially. So I think that might be good. And she is on the younger side, and we've only been at war with uh, wealth disparity since and she's been alive. So I mean, the thing we've is, we've only is we been at war yeah. with wealth disparity <laughs> since she's been alive. <laughs> All right. So just, you are back. Yeah, I mean, she could end up killing this. We just don't know anybody of, anything about that. Yeah. She yeah. could have put that on the wheel. Go the go at film. least just hit multiple choices. You're ahead. Film. Like, if Once you have it, Jason in hit multiple. Or at Snyder least take the guesses. About war films. Don't and give her now, twos to steal. It's up to Jess Schloss for four questions. Each one's worth two points. See, do you think, like, someone like Jess with. In the a more known movies. experience of being a what fan is more fan helpful to her than like Oscar. someone coming in blind. but not limited to no best actor no. Best uh, saving prior ryan best director it's mm. <laughs> i'm gonna wait go to multiple <laughs> you can say it and then change it um, war of iwo jima if the, is oh wait, classic war film. It's Shit, a classic war or, on the Western Oh, I didn't even front. see that. Oh, oh. 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 I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Patton. I'm gonna say 1917. That's not. <laughs> I'm not the... <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Jet, uh, D. D is in dog. D is in dog. Wolf. Is correct. Oh, oh. You're welcome, man. Patton, George, uh, so good. King, Your thank you. Question. It is a classic, classic war film. War. You didn't I mean, see the word classic, and so. And up, one shot. Boys follows the escapades of volunteers. Oh my god, I love this movie. World War One. World War War. World War One. James Franco movie. It's the Korean, Korean War, just to be different. From um, I'll go multiple choice on this as well. I mean, this right, movie, to be fair, I just I said Red Tail. Have y'all ever World seen War or heard II. of the movie Valiant? The World War One. Oh, with the pigeon. The Iraq. Yeah. I've heard of it. I have not seen it. Isn't it Ewan McGregor? Am I making that up? Is it on Disney Plus? Okay. I think it is. Because that's a Disney, Disney movie, I think. Two is correct. Yeah. So for one point, like it's Steve, like a Disney Jeff movie in the, the same way that like Wild is a Disney again. movie. The 2006 right. movie Flyboys follows the escapades of volunteer. But I just I think it's like a Warbird, is it not? It is Vietnam. B. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a question. Oh no! It is you. It is you, McGregor. Yep. What did we miss? Oh, no. What did we miss? Go back. Go We're back. talking too much. Well, about a point. That is <laughs> I think she's like, like, there's so many good wars to choose from. Oh, no. <laughs> close, 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 still has two questions left. Because right, her question, question was like all the wars. And this is your penultimate war question. Ryan, turn it up just a hair. Just a hair. Who directed Black Hawk Down? Uh, that would be Ooh. Steven Spielberg. Ridley Scott? <laughs> 
I was gonna say Spielberg, but James I know that's Wan. wrong. It's not James Wan. Who doesn't? I think it's Ridley it. Scott. That's a bold choice. Okay, your four options for a point. Is it A, Tony Scott? B, Robert Zemeckis? Robert B, Zemeckis. Scott, Ridley Scott. Scott. I'm sticking with Steven Spielberg. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, Brian. She's so calm. They both are. I'm going to say Tony Scott. Right? C is in cat. C is in cat is Ridley Scott, and that is correct for a point. Ooh, did it. Ooh, right nice. Time, I might add. So now, Christian, we see ourselves with a four-point lead for Jess <laughs> Floyd. She can make that six points if she gets this question right off the That's bat. That's how math works. opportunity always looming large in an opponent's choice category. So, Jess, your final question. That's one of Ridley Scott's best movies. The war category. So Who good. played First Lieutenant Rafe McCall Josh Hartnett in Red 2001's Affleck. Craig Damon. Damon. <laughs> is it I don't ben know Affleck any other names. Ben, ben Affleck <laughs> and Josh Hartnett are co-stars. I don't know which one it is. I just I'm asking. I think it's right? probably Josh no, Hartnett, but I don't know. Four options. Oh, they're both going to be on the Ben Affleck. Yeah, they're both. Steve they're both. Wow. See Josh. Oh, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Oh. I don't think Brendan Fraser was. I'm going Brendan Fraser, Fraser just because I love him. I love Brendan Fraser. I want to watch George of the Jungle now. I want to watch the Mummy. The Mummy movies should be in IG. Darn it! Correct. So no. for one more steal Noted. opportunity. We pivot to Beth May. <laughs> Beth, your question and your option. They are just as they are just as swashbuckling as the Lone Ranger. Pearl I agree. That's true. And your multiple choice option. I would kill it a Mummy. A Ben Affleck. Molly would kill that Wall. sword in the stone. C Josh Hartnett or D Brendan Fraser. Sword of the Stone, stone exhibition match. No, <gasps> give it to me. Affleck. You'd be correct for a point if you did it. She did, Christian, and so it is now eleven to eight. And all of a sudden, oh, thank you, Leo. Choice opponent's Darn it. choice being. I knew I had a 50-50 shot here with these two shot sensations, wrong. and it's a three-point. Hey, but you knew someone in the movie. Right. Yeah, at least you He's guessed the right name. It looked like yeah. because of the first opponent's choice that Beth hit. Like, thank oh my god! I, this I even know the, the woman in the movie. Oh my god! I'm in double digits. Oh my god! Going into round number three, Mark. What are the rules of round number three? Being fully vaccinated has opened my mind. In round Apparently, being fully vaccinated has given me the has opportunity to get each other. I'm getting that. I'm getting that 5G right here. Like I said, we need three of them. They may not be the same numbers as your opponent. That's okay. I kind of like it too. To you category movie trivia show. I watched it in high school in my history class. Anyway, so your first question. The only thing they showed us in high school was the part where they actually got bombed. They didn't show us the rest of the There's no penalty for missing a question. And I was like, oh. There is also no yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's, there's a lot more to that movie. Scene. Christian, this is exciting. I watched and that and um, to give us Hotel Rwanda. Numbers first. So just and then weirdly, um, Places of the Heart. Is that what it's called? Three. I don't know. It's that one with nine. You're asking the wrong person. The grandma <laughs> from yeah, yeah. Nine and twelve for Jeff favorite number and for Beth. Uh, let's go with. Uh, one, two, and four. One, two, and four, and I'm assuming that <laughs> it's three was gone. 60 seconds, starting now. Worst case scenario wasn't so bad, was it? You you muddled <laughs> through this. Listen, we were scared of those two wheel slices, and, and you were probably fine on both of those. Come on now. Give yourself some credit here. Places Maybe in the eight. heart, says chat. Three points. This place is in the heart. Thank you. Out, yeah. But also, it could just keep going. Okay. Because I love she, Sally she Fields too. With you and she's back right with you. So stay focused. Take your time. You still have two JTEs left. Okay. So it, even if it, it, has it, anyone it, seen it, Sybil? You want more time? Just don't. No. don't there's Sybil no Shepherd. place for leading a game with JTEs. That's really good. It's got you Sally know. Field in it. Are you doing great? You're looking good. Uh, first game almost over. So excited. <laughs> Right. She's right, probably so second. nervous, like just being I in the match. She looks super chill. Yeah. Feels it looked dicey for a minute, and you were right there. You didn't let it affect you. Incredible work, staying quirky and murky. And we found out what war was good for. And up, which Brian, like for. I'm taking you that feel? mental note right now. <laughs> More <laughs> trivia <laughs> questions. Going into the third round here, but I'm hoping I can pull out something fun. 
Well, we also, we do, I, since I learned to count recently, three JTEs means yeah. you know, no, Logan. as you need to I'm blacked out. out. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. That would be me. That was me during the Bachelor <laughs> match. I never I remember my matches. Like, as soon as they're over, I'm like, I don't even know what they asked me. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of our happy hours, Jessica? We don't know Lots of blacking out. Be, but I feel really confident you're Not true. <laughs> We've never blacked out. Ready? I didn't black out. Hey, I was on it. Jill. All right. Hey. Our competitors are back. <laughs> and now we are going to start very with but I don't black out. Who is trying to avoid the TKO oh. here. And she's Jessica, starting. Jessica, you have Get the ready for me. Get, Get ready one. for your birthday. Number one. And that is going to be in the category of crime films. Crime, crime films. films. That's <clears> it. All right. Here you go. Crime. Crime. And okay. Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Appeared alongside training day. Denzel Washington. Oh, that was what I was going to say. Yep, but I don't right. know if they're in it. They it have is. to be. It is. is it? Yeah, it is. I just guessed because be Denzel. It is. Yeah. The only other thing that I can think of was American Gangster, but it's not American Gangster. All right. Repeat the question, please. First one. It's definitely Training Day. And Dr. Dre. I would guess Training Day. Alongside Denzel Washington. In if I was playing and I wasn't job. a writer, I would not get this one. I don't. I have no clue. Come on, you know this. You were training in your promo. Training day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Two points. Nice. So two points. That's big. She's trying to avoid the TKO. She hits this yep. here. It'll bounce back to Jess. All right, Beth. So for your second category, your three pointer, you chose category two. That would be sports. Sports Ooh. films. <laughs> so many really difficult categories. Just Here, us four, right. us four guests. I'm going to mute go. Jake the second it starts. No. no. Stars as an underachieving gambler. Keanu Reeves. ends up coaching a little league team Just in like 2001's Hardball. Yeah. I'm Jake, mixed. why don't you play? Right? Huh? He goes nearly perfect in all of our reactions. You should play this. Game. I always Kelly mix. Sheen? No. For Deanna Reeves. Deanna Reeves. All right. So here's where we are. Okay. So we I always mix that movie up with Hardball. If she hits it, bounces back to Jess. Is However, it, is it Hardball? She no, that, that was Hardball. Oh, that was hardball. Oh, no, no, no. Speed, speed ball. Speed ball. Speed ball? Speed ball? Roller ball? Roller ball. Roller ball. Roller ball. Roller ball. Roller ball is not baseball. Tom ball. Cruise for category four. Tom Cruise. Is it the one with the uh, question. where they like skate in a ring? Yeah, that famous actor directed the political drama Lions for Lambs. Yeah, I'm and also co-starred with Tom Cruise in the film. Clint Eastwood. Who's a director? Robert that, that's a that's a, a five really point. Dang, she nailed that. Different, that different was old back. white man. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's now 15 11. So Jessica Sold will have to try to win the game here where the TKO is avoided. And now, Jess, you are going to get three questions. And the first one, Mark, was category three. It's popular number, probably because of Mark Mosley's 1982 NFL MVP campaign. And today it corresponds to the category of biopics. Biopics. All right, Jess, for two points, your question. Who plays J. Edgar Hoover? Leonardo in DiCaprio. 2011's J. Edgar. Sure. <laughs> A lot of Leo representation in this match. Come on, Leonardo Jess. DiCaprio. You know, okay. a really funny Halloween mask. That is correct. Ooh. Two points. Boy, I, I, I pop off. Just like that. that terrifying is memory. Just Google Leo. That, was, that was an Oscar nominated Logan film, correct? Her three uh -huh. point question okay. or her five point she question. Lost. She's going to walk away yes. with a win She's here. If not, Beth well. May <laughs> takes yeah. her first Until they gave him the sympathy Oscar. All right. So well, come on. No, that was for the the Revenant. There was Mark said if she <laughs> oh, I hate that movie. Over. I fell asleep not, in it. Totally to loved it. It's a hundred percent a sympathy Oscar. All right. So and she gets the she wins. Numero nine. I deserve that Oscar. Yes. Come on. Yes, what? That was like a one man oh. show. That's a Brad Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Typically his movies. And Brad Pitt. He comes up so often in round three. This is a cool world question. I'm going to scream. Who plays Susan Parrish? It's not. A resident in internal medicine and I demand a cool world question. In the film Meet Joe Black. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I can't even. Sandra Bullock. That's a good guess. That is a solid guess. I'll say Ashley Judd. 
Jennifer Aniston. I'll say Ooh, I love I love the I know, uh, It's not her, but I'm, I'll just say Jennifer Three, Conley for fun. Two. Julia Roberts. Looking for Claire Forlani. Who? All right, girl. Who? I don't even know. Where we are now? <laughs> oh no. no! So Jess has an opportunity. I don't even know who that. I got to look up who that is. I did not write that one. Yes. If she misses, then Beth May will win the Thank match. Thank you. I need oh, crap. Those more category right, twelve. Stuart, I need more cool world. She a Christian, and that could be any number of things. We have a lot of categories oh, okay. to choose from, but today the number twelve, Jim Kelly's number, corresponds to my favorite. Game. Animated film. Give it to me. Yes. Oh. Movies run by hand or on a computer. Oh, no, there's there's, there's no been so way. many That's animated five point questions. There's, there's no way I'm going to get this. This is all Jill. Jill. Excuse you. This I'll be disappointed. 1998 DreamWorks film. She's got it. Oh, 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 Prince of Egypt. Original song Oscar. Oh, God. Okay. The song. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you there you go. <laughs> Love this movie. <laughs> Love this movie. The Prince of Egypt. I love this movie too. Jill, when I get the animated division started, you will be drafted and you Thank will play. You. I appreciate you. And your oh, damn. Winner, Jessica! Yay! Fantasy Play! <laughs> She doesn't, she, she doesn't know what to do with her hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. She doesn't know what to do with her hands. Holy mackerel, what an ending to that. Look at all the Prince of Egypt love in the chat. Prince of Egypt is beautiful. Are you going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to poop my pants. That is something because, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What an incredible, incredible was that your question? was. All right, so we're I will not say. You guys here, uh, <laughs> I can either uh, confirm or Jen or uh, Steph today, but we will be asking you guys good questions job, here. Jess. So uh, I guess we can yeah. start off with you, Dang, Jess. That was a good match. This was a that match. was a very good match. This was a tough one. You had yeah. uh, you had the lead. It looked like it could. You I got the five point, and I still got the third place. Before that opponent's choice on yeah. your end for a potential <laughs> knockout, and then it turns back to where you have you're pushed to your five. Do you feel you you earn your stripes here in your first? I'm always match? happy if I get into double di digits yeah, in singles. I honestly, <laughs> was unsure of how this was going to go, but I'm very happy now. That's really? why I drafted you. Oh, right? Hi, Kylo. And it was a big Oh, oh look at him so just sitting back me, there. He was the manager. Oh my God. Um, he almost died. He's a mood. And as so someone who is a full mood. Can you play with me, please? Hi, Kylo, let's get that big head functions. of yours. Oh. Of your yeah, new you competitor almost died because I'm hungry. And possibly star <laughs> in the den. I couldn't be prouder, and I'll tell you what, this is oh. that both of these women were handed opponent's choice on their first match out. It they both did like great. Rookie should have yeah. opponent's choice on the wheel. Take that note, will you, Christian? So oh. I'm trying to tell, I just think rookie shouldn't have to deal with it. But no, to me, it's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear, stupid. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine, but you should get your Are microphone working. Talking to Grace. What? She kind of pulled all the string. I didn't say her name. Sorry. We don't say her name. What's Who? What? Huh? She's like Voldemort. You can't say her name in front of no. her. And you using your computer audio. Okay. I think we'll live. All right. So, Mark, next question. And we're leaving all of that in. That's iconic. All right, then. We'll just pivot it. right back to Jess. I love so, Mama Jess, Kate. now I that you have your, your first victory in the schmo down and you start dreaming a little bit, you start saying, oh, who do I want to take on? Is there any competitor out there? Or maybe any faction out there that you say, okay, I want a piece of them next. Oh, man. No, I'm just excited to play. I will take whatever. You know, <laughs> just bring them next. Next, next. But you're a stone cold here. killer, right? You're, you're stone cold. <laughs> you're locked in. You'll own to sleep, and then you just, boom, five-pointer crush them, right? Jess, do you have an answer yeah, now? <laughs> okay, I will. All jokes aside here, I mean, you got to be obviously you. You have got Zeke. She didn't so have her attached to your players, <laughs> and you've really been working with them. So to see one of your players kind of go through this and watching it, what's I it like feel Kate's like glasses. on the sidelines, watching, saying, "I like Kate's everything." Oh my God, we're almost there. Yeah. But it could have went the other way. 
I just, I, I feel like speaking that, even though it might feel negative, I hope you didn't feel like I was being negative to you, Jess, but like that is the sort of thing that you have to be braced. Like you could be leading the whole game and it just comes down to the five pointer. And today it came down to the five pointer at the number of times <laughs> right. that that has gone oh, our uh, way. Jess, we would love a hashtag. It has, it's, it's even Oops. at this point. So to me, I was like, oh, wow, this really, this is about. And then I heard what the category was. I'm like, okay, this, we have a chance. And then I heard what the question was. I'm like, okay, if she has a chance. And I'll be honest, I didn't know the answer. But I was glad that I heard, and you're, because that was the only way I would know if you got it right. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations <laughs> to, me, to Kate, all of you, kids. Kate, and, and, and a good debut Beautiful. here. Has and they don't call a sleeper for nothing. To come back, a sleeper hit, it seems to be, with self. Jessica Sloth and the, the Den. Congratulations, Jess. Congratulations, Kate. And we'll talk fight to you. Fight me on that one. I will fight you. And we are back with both Koi and Beth. Beth, it's one of those things. I mean, look, like Koi looks just as confused the, as Brad the Pitt. two opponents' choice, <laughs> as you said, it looks like it was either bad luck for both, or it turned out to actually be good luck for you, as you had mentioned, because it kept you in the fight. Dang, the den the really is popping time, off. And you were able to hit so that big far. five pointer at but the, the end. Lost Did you think match. she was going to get that five, and were you kind of crossing your fingers and uh, you know think. hoping that uh, so. it would go the other way? I'd have to look back to my fingers that maybe I, I would. Oh, no, no, no. When Jader played I'm, Jenny. I'm hoping okay. that she gets it right, right because uh, I wish the best for her. And that's a great movie. I I, I love Prince of Egypt. Five there three for the den? Oh. Too many. LOL. Uh, I'm <laughs> not paying attention, apparently. <laughs> maybe, like, they're definitely that undefeated. I believed in, and clearly so did she. So good on her for getting it. Um, you know, ultimately, when it comes down That's to that, right. more my forgot Mark was on the den. Anyone same, lose one then what was the lose. third one? Shoot. Well, I would get yeah. concerned if I keep losing, but <laughs> anybody, <laughs> if I can lose one fight. That's a fair point, and, and, and it is just that one match, Koi. I, like I think that there's a lot of silver lining, yeah. To take out of the uh, Lacey, Lacey lost for the day. You look at Lacey, how that's right. Okay, low that was to have opponents' choice and movie release dates. How proud are you of your competitor that she was able to, to show that much backbone to bounce right back up and get some steals herself and go into round three and get the lead ultimately for a brief time? She faced so many worst case scenarios. She got opponent's choice. She was in an almost TKO. It wasn't a TKO situation. She they went into the last choice. match knowing she needed to go all the way to push. That was crazy. It, so it was all of the, oh no, this is the worst thing that can happen. And that was a debut. So for me, it was one rookie debut. One way to debut. You said, both get opponent's I choice. Like Welcome as to far as lost <laughs> show, the the best I mean, she kind of got all the, the crap she thrown she at her. Yeah. yeah, I don't get five pointers. That's why I don't play. This, this all of this. Same that cool. I did that one. I did get that five pointers with hey. honor. I'm I'm very proud. This is why she's the maniac. I'm very excited to put her back in. I'm very excited to see what she can do when we don't get opponent's choice. And and I was just proud the whole time. And it was so exhausting. That was such an exhausting match. Like I stayed I'm tired. sweaty. I should have drank more water. Well, that's not, I'm still. Well, that's what I was saying. I mean, even in a, a little, you chugged the front start, obviously, but like when you had um a negative one at one point in the season, you know. And so Thank let me you. ask you a question. You know, were you like, uh oh, we're gonna get another? And at one point, it looked like it could be negative one plus one, but then she fought out of that KO, right? And then it's like, okay, uh oh, she missed the three. And then we could get another negative one here. And she fights out of that. So as you said, you know, it was it's got to be you Chris. got to have that proud papa to moment of, of okay, here, here to we Chris's have, comment. Uh, one of my players you coming in here and fights out one. of that. Oh yeah, two time yeah. Holder, so she was in. The negative one loomed throughout the match after round one, and it got more serious. So she was able There's to. There's been. I hate the. Well, I, got, I was going to say, like, I hate the showdown because I just I like all the competitors, and I hate to see them lose. But. That that's like, that's Brian and Jill every time we try to choose a person group. to win. Yeah. <laughs> don't like choosing. It's like, oh, I don't want her to have an 0 and 1 record. She played so well. She doesn't deserve that. But that's like the point of the game. Yeah. She stayed in the zone and never based you know, a player on their record. Season. The option of losing a point as so true in the worst way is a different tactic. Yeah, look at the Star Wars fight. division. In, in I was gonna say, look at Joseph, <laughs> I was say exhibit A, Joseph Scrimshaw. They're basically <laughs> all, I was about to say, they're basically all losers, but they're basically all <laughs> losing records. All the Star Wars players are, I don't think that what's quirky. I mean, 
You know, it's not what people are. With the amount of time we put into studying for boring. Star Wars, we no could be considered losers. <laughs> that is a little too nice, Jess. That is a little We're the nice. first to do it. And that yeah, Malcolm, sure. Loomis yeah, can right. lose every well, match. He scares me. Yeah. Also, point in case, Adam Witt. That's how Adam, well, you don't have to do it anymore. Adam Witt deserves, deserves his own so, belt again, for just participating. Very, very, well fought, uh, we should start a participation award at the thank awards. you and thank you to a fan Ukoi favorite award. We'll oh, fan favorite per faction. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, Mark. So well, what a match it was. So after seeing a little bit of a rookie debut there, uh, Jessica Schloh taking the victory. Um, and I, look, oh, at, at the beginning, you see Beth make an opponent's choice, and you see her struggle, and you're like, okay, there's a chance that. If she gets a category she she likes, she can run through and and get a TKO, maybe get even a KO situation. But it's just one of those matches where you have to fight every second. You have to claw your way to the very end. And we saw, I mean, Jess was leading the entire match, but she had to get that five pointer to win, and she just got something that was in a wheelhouse. Really cool match. Fun to see them both debut. Um, they're clearly going to be around for a while. Uh, two two great players who bring a lot to the table. Um, and congratulations to, to Jessica on that one. That was, that was a great win. Molly, yes, you thank you. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> My fantasy team needed it. <laughs> but congrats to you. Both of them. Yes. I, I really want to see both of them play more now. Yeah. I think we will. So. Oh, yeah. We definitely will. Oh, yeah. Uh, can, Molly, what do you think of this one? Oh, man. This, this was so much fun to watch. It was so kind of like back and forth. You, you know my thoughts on like people who play perfect games uh, like good for you i guess but whatever <laughs> it's boring uh <laughs> i i much rather watch matches like these who that are like more scrappy and it's like they seemed pretty evenly matched and very both of them getting opponent's choice was like oh well jesus like we now we'll never really know you know how well they can play until they maybe play another match and yeah. hopefully get their strength on the wheel. So yeah. I mean war and movie release dates are not ideal categories for your second round. Uh, no. No, that's for like 95% of the league. Or possibly ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh Brian, what do you think of this one? I loved it. I I can't wait to see both of them in more matches. I am already thinking of who I would love to see them up, play up against. I mean, there there are some great rookies. I would love to see them still play some rookies. I'd love to see them play some competitors. Um, I I really like this one. Like Molly said, these are the best types of ones where it's like, oh man, she was leading that whole game, and now it's going to come down to the last question. Like those are the best ones. Like, um, so yeah, it was great. It was fantastic, and I expected nothing less from. Both of them. Uh, Miss Abby? Uh, this was a really great match. I was super excited to see Jess play for the first time just because I was so personally invested. I'm excited that she got a win, but I also am super excited for Beth's future in the Schmodown. I think they are both with their perfect managers. Um, and I think that, um, oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. that would be so Ooh, I love that. Um, but and it was also just exciting to see two new female rookies for sure. Um, it's the all the ladies are coming in and they're coming in strong. So this was a really great match that Don't showed do the, that. Don't do the... Yeah, I mean it's these two <laughs> plus Paige oh, yes, and Becky plus, plus Christy. I mean there's a lot of young rookie females that are very exciting to be entering this league. Jill, what about you? I echo what everyone said. Um, echoing Molly, where I think perfect games very boring. Um, so for, not a fan of perfect games. Like sometimes I'm like, Oh, perfect game. Yay. But nine out of 10 times. I'm like, I mean, you guys saw our reaction to the, if you didn't go on our channel, but you saw our reaction to Collins versus moral when nothing was perfect. Yeah, so. exactly. And all so. of us were constantly like this. Cause we didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> Just like, um, ah. <laughs> I, no, I, I echo what everyone was saying. It was so much fun. And, I was not at all disappointed in this match in the slightest because I was very much looking forward to both Jess and Beth and they, they both killed it. They were both, like I said, welcome to the league. Here's opponent's choice. Like they were yeah. both given opponent's choice. For on their both first of you. Match ever. 
Like, oh man. And I thought, given opponent's choice for your first match, I thought they both did really, really well. And they were both incredibly fun to watch. And I'm really excited to see um, both Beth and Jess. And congratulations to Jess. Congratulations on bringing that W to the den. Congrats. congrats. And Brian. Um, and Brian, I guess. <laughs> and, Brian. and I guess Brian. Um, but no, I, I'm so stoked to see what both of these ladies can bring. I'm excited to see how their future is uh, evolve within the Shmodown. Yeah, I, I'm sure we'll see them very quickly uh, again. Uh, obviously, Jess will probably play someone that uh, has taken a victory, uh, and Beth will more than likely play someone who has not taken a victory. And we, as I think, uh, who put it in the chat? Peggy put it in the chat. Christy V and Beth May would be a great matchup. That'd be a lot of fun. I don't know if we'll see it. Uh, but th that would definitely be a lot of fun. Uh, thank well, Jessica, thank you so much for stopping by. Go to sleep, <laughs> Jessica. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so so great. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, no, really fun match, and just cool to see different personalities enter the league. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you saw how like vibrant and um crazy Beth was at times, but also uh, Jessica was very just kind of like that the sleeper, the silent killer. Um, yeah. and two great additions to the league for sure. Uh, very exciting to see them join. Um, as for tomorrow, guys, we're back at it for another reaction. Uh, we are here for another rookie matchup, uh, and that's going to be the Stars and Corruption. That is Jacoby Ooh. Bancroft and Jacob Blunden, um, two very, very highly touted names in this league as rookies, uh, two former heavyweights in the fan league, going to be facing off against each other. Super, super exciting. We'll be back at it at 6 p.m. Pacific right here on the channel. Um, also, this will not be the last time that you see Miss Abby Frill with us. She'll be joining us quite a bit on the channel for some reactions. She wants to get on and hanging out and watching matches. And she's yeah. always welcome here on POV. So, Abby, thank you so much mm -hmm. for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really enjoy it. Um, and everybody watching, thank you guys so much. All 70 plus of you the entire time. Absolute blast. Congratulations, Jessica, once again on the victory. Really enjoyed that one. So, for now, uh, for the whole crew here, thank you guys so much for watching us, hanging out with us, commenting, enjoying this one. And we'll be back at it tomorrow. Everyone have a good night, and we'll see you then.